people eating off my plate. I said, I'll kill you. I swear to God. I, mean, I think you just keep getting better and better though with age. You have, you look you look great. Well, I I feel okay. Like the romantic music. Yeah. 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 Actually, you look a little bit like Jesus now, which oh, I kind of yeah. I'm like. Blonde Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I'll take um, it. I can't say enough about him other than Wow, Bam, and and Shazam. Shazam. Mr. Burt Ward in the studio today. I'm so excited. That's our class. That's our studio, yes. that's our studio audience. Maria Quiben Whitesell. Am I saying that right? The last name White's White Cell. White Cell. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very, very good. Maria Quabon. It's, it's like uh, it's it's Filipino. So I began to take her out. I'm like ding ding ding. And we can pull it up too. I, I went out there like 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 if you tie a dog to a tree for a week and you let that leash go, right, yeah. your dog books it. So he called the newsroom and says, "I want that story on my broadcast." So I got on Walter Cronkite's program. Really? This is back in 1979. Oh, and, and Walter says my name. You know, Carlos, I'm going squat. Acting on God's word in a time I'd have been more afraid than ever, I really had power loving and sound mind. I jumped 11 feet further than I've ever jumped in my life. We went and had lunch today. <laughs> I know. And that guy came up to the table and he was, was like a, waiting to give it to take our. We're in a booth. And there's, <laughs> and there's, of course, there's plastic on both sides. Yeah. So we're not it's spraying like any of the, the food. Movies. It was so funny. I was sitting one day with my best friend and we're sitting there talking and he was like, what if God didn't give you the cake? What if he gave you the ingredients because when you bake, other people eat it? What does that mean? That's actually my first name. Is it? Is it really? Oh, I And love this that. word means nothing is impossible with God. It's powerful and I actually named Ariana because in Greek it means the Holy One. You can, mm. you can really speak over your kids you and can. so your parents. They named me Bob because I float I float the pool up and down. <laughs> your character, well your character's written about you. So and you're just not right the right person. <laughs> you don't sound like it the person should sound. You don't sound you don't say the words that Corey I should have be saying. Never had any, you know, it's written for you, but you're just yeah. you're not the right person that, that for happened. it. And I'll talk about this more on the show. Uh, and maybe this will be a little teaser. I actually know Dustin Hoffman and he did give me some you dropped the name there. Uh, okay, you were waiting <laughs> to use that oh, for like four episodes. Well, you can do anything you want to do, right? And at any age. And at any age. I know. I age. love yeah, that. 42 year olds that win swimming Olympics gold medals. Yeah. So many empty spaces in Beverly Hills. But we were talking about this before this, and yours is reopened now, yeah. and you're busier than ever. I'm never going anywhere. Yes. I know, and you're busier than ever because people oh. are finally allowed to get married. She used to do uh, shows with me at the Ice House in Pasadena when I, I did the Bob Zaney show. She went her way and became very successful, and, and I'm doing your podcast. <laughs> uh, it's a really vulnerable character. Like, he never told me that I was playing the part. Just a side <laughs> note. I mean, it was something like a month over the phone, and he never told me that I, I was playing that part. Oh, it's an angel. angel. <laughs> 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 and I just listened to your song, Last Call, and I watched the video. Um, so, th- first off, thank you for appreciating it, and thank you for appreciating the law enforcement um, side of the house. We... Fear of colors. <laughs> you are so annoying. No, but it is one of the most common fears, and it is the um, marriage. And my mom says, okay, let me take the kid. So my mom takes me to a drug deal at three years old. Now, if you read the book... So there are certain things that are very fundamental to our human existence and to our interrelationship, okay? Now... We have come to the point, gone are the days where people argue, disagree, and they still go out across the street and have a beer. Who's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush. This is going to be really boring because I don't really have one. You know, I I can tell you how. Really? Not picking up on the signs. You mean the the dinner's still in the pot. She's just putting it on their plate. So I have to stand there for three minutes. And in my three mind, minutes. in my mind, that's three minutes. I could be editing the show. I could be doing oh, something yes, else. Oh, yes. So, so do that. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> and we're having a fight. And uh, I'm com- com- coming down the stairs. I'm like on the second floor. And she's on the sixth floor. And she yells down. She says, I never want to see you again. And I yell out, don't watch Letterman on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you rub it in, is the joint no longer inflammated? Well, is that a word? I'm sorry. Let, yeah. Let's just take a moment right inflamed. now for, for two of our audience. <laughs> so, 
Bob Victor just said one second, Stu, because I have to take this moment. I really do. Is there a button for this? Um, it, 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 Bob just said inflammated, which all of these things are going to inhibit you from sleeping well. So you're probably your number one you customer. Inhibit you from? Prohibit you. <laughs> okay. You said you know what? Inhib inhib inhibit you, you from. We're <laughs> it's going it's going down. You, go? you? you just criticized me for being negative all morning. Am I? You did. I did. You did. Were you negative this morning? I'm negative all the time. Oh. <laughs> But it did really pull me yeah, out you of that. Blaming your dyslexia on tryptophan yeah. dopamine. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Because dopamine everything. spelled backwards is tryptophan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a so great good. name, and there's yeah. so much. You you could go a long time with that. Oh yeah, that concept. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm picturing super zero. You know, a super zero, with oh you. Can. Oh thanks, Corey. <laughs> Bob, I'm picturing you. <laughs> <laughs> your face. I need you it's not to look funny. into the camera and say, I don't mind when Bob makes fun of me. I ask him to. I like it. And it's, don't get mad at Bob. I will not say that. <laughs> Good morning, Bob. It's supposed to point where your Adam's apple would be if you were part of the better sex. Okay. Wow. And it's then, just, uh, it's just a bummer that you edit this show. <laughs> what is the flat earth? Well, the way I look at it is, the Earth is the basement of the universe. If you look, uh, if you're looking down at the Earth, you just imagine a massive, endless ice plane. We'll call it endless at this point. And the small sun and moon are circling around and they melted out a puddle. We live in what's called the Antarctic Basin. Antarctica is the highest land on Earth. Did they teach you that in school? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I don't know. Moon time. Moon time? Moon time. Moon time. <laughs> well, there's a little episode in the book where they're actually doing the Carol Burnett show, honey. Yeah. And, 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 during, and during a break, they asked, asked me to go get uh, some hamburgers for them. <laughs> I was... <laughs> But I was reading my New York Times. You know, it's not hard to convince me of anything because I'm just gullible. Does that work? It is. It's not the fear of anything, though. No, but you know what? They redid the dictionary, and gullible's not in the dictionary anymore because nobody was using it. So they Are took you they took gullible out of the dictionary. <laughs> You're <laughs> I've never heard of this. So who would you say? Who do you use for pet insurance? Or is that All something blown. you can say? Hmm? All blown insurance. Really? <laughs> Um, I'm I, done with you. All done. We're just at the, all, I'm all done. <laughs> First question is, tell me in three words, some, or tell me about yourself in three Describe words. Describe yourself. Yes. Describe yourself in three words. I can't today. I've never had this problem, Jack. 